Hi, everybody. I'm here with Ron Placone, and we're talking about, um, well, if you don't know, uh, if you watch the news every day, you probably don't know <laughs> that the United States has been funding who we consider to be terrorists, right? Uh, we, The CIA in Jordan uh, training uh, al-Qaeda, they'll say they're not. They say they're arming the rebels, the 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 moderate rebels, which is kind of an oxymoron, isn't it, Ron? A little bit, yeah. I'm, I'm a moderate like, rebel. I mean, yeah. I'd like to overthrow stuff, but uh, that's like a punk band that never made it. The, yeah. the moderate rebels, like the really, where, where, rebels. where are you going with that? I, I don't even know what that means. The moderate rebels, you know, it's like you can either a rebel or you're not. You're not a moderate rebel. It's like being moderately pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. You're either a rebel or you're not. Anyway, so they they say we're so Tulsi Gabbard has been trying. We've talked about this before about a month or so ago when she introduced a bill. Uh, well, here she is. She's on with Tucker Carlson, and she's going to address this situation. Like, I'm not kidding. So we invented Al Qaeda, right? We've showed on this show. We've showed other that they used to refer to Osama bin Laden as an anti-Russian rebel. And they used to write puff pieces on him in the newspapers. Osama bin Laden, an anti-Russian rebel that we funded and built. Uh, we did the same thing with ISIS. I mean, we, there would be no ISIS if we didn't go into um, Iraq. And all this stuff is predictable, by the way. And, you know, when Jeb Bush would say, uh, a, vac vo a void will be filled. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he means. So now we're literally funding terrorists to, because we want to overthrow Assad in in Syria. And um, not just there we're funding them, but I'm sure other places too. So Tulsi Gabbard goes on with Tucker Carlson to say this. You've introduced it. Um, and your idea, as I understand it, is, look, the average American, you, me, not allowed to send weapons or aid terror groups we would yet, be thrown in jail but the u.s government as a matter of policy arms and aids these groups for a bunch of different reasons but that's happening well and this is the problem tucker is that there's a double standard here uh, that for years now our government working with countries like saudi arabia uh, turkey and Qatar, uh, have been through the cia quietly been arming and supporting these groups that are directly working with groups like al-qaeda and isis all in this effort to overthrow the syrian government They've been funneling support through uh, countries like Saudi Arabia uh, and others who are also, again, directly supporting these groups. Uh, this oh, but what about Russia? CIAs, they don't like them, right? Except we're now working with Russia in Syria. We are. We're coordinating in real time with the Russian military in Syria. Uh, just so you know. So the CIA... The people were supposed to believe about all the PP news stories and all the hacking and stuff, even with no proof or evidence. She's saying, and this is a sitting congresswoman, that they're funding the people we claim to be fighting, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, through Saudi Arabia, which is all happening. It is madness that this has been allowed to occur for so long and madness that we have allowed the devastating consequences to occur as a result without checking it and that's exactly what my bill does the stop arming terrorist act very simply prohibits using american taxpayer dollars through any agency overt or covert or covert whether it be the cia the dod or any other agency from directly or indirectly providing weapons money intelligence or other types of support to these groups that are uh, allied with and working with groups like uh, Al-Qaeda, as this is happening right now today in Syria. Well, you obviously haven't been listening to some famous members of the Senate who've described those groups as freedom fighters, and you just don't understand how great they are. Uh, clearly. <laughs> this is the problem. This policy is so screwed up that Tucker Carlson is able to make me laugh about it. I like the look on her face because I think she's thinking the same thing that I initially thought when she was like, is Tucker Carlson being serious or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's being facetious though, Tucker, is that uh, only recently, this has been happening for years, but only recently has uh, have a few people in the media actually start talking about the truth of what we have been doing, right. about how our taxpayer dollars have been... A few people in the media. Uh, ...spent there, uh, and this fallacy that there are so-called moderate fighters 
uh, trying to overthrow the Syrian government just is not the reality right. today. When it you doesn't see exist. U.S. weapons in the hands of extre Islamic extremists and terrorists, you have to ask how that happened. And I'm glad you're asking yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we're asking it. We're trying to solve it. So, you know, I'm urging your viewers, we're trying to urge every member of Congress to sign on to this very sensible bill that is good for our country and good for our security. Uh, I'm going to guess they're not going to sign on to that bill that says stop funding terrorists. Uh, so just like Tucker Carlson said, if we they can throw you in jail without a trial if they say you're aiding and abetting a terrorist in America. That's all you have to say. And uh, Barack Obama signed that law, by the way. So habeas corpus is gone. But apparently our government can fund these same people, which we do. And we give money to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia supports ISIS. Um, so it's weird that she has to, like, she gets a warmer reception on stuff like this at a place like Fox News, uh, cause if she went on MSNBC, they'd have to first talk about Russia for about nine minutes. And then one minute they would talk about this thing. Um, this is really happening. We really are funding the people, our government. And it, hey, we got to keep the war machine going, baby. We got to keep the war machine going. We can't have peace. If we had peace, then who's going to pay for the bombs? How are we going to make money? Come on. How are we going to get those pipelines through Syria if we stop the wars? Yeah. Anything, Ron, to well, add that, to that's this? That's just something that, you know, to kind of connect it all, like, like that's something that's been really disturbing to me is like, you know, and it, it started with, with drone strikes and now it goes in, into funding and then it goes into uh, Russia. And, and, you know, you get these folks on the left, quote unquote left, uh, that almost sound like McCarthy. And, and, and it, we're getting to the point where like aggression is almost becoming a left-wing principle when it comes to all this stuff, connecting all these dots. And it's like, no, the left-wing principle is supposed to be diplomacy and force only when it is absolutely 100% inevitable. Defensive. Defensive, Use exactly. Of force. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, remember when, remember when Saddam Hussein attacked us? <laughs> <laughs> remember when Assad attacked us? Remember when Afghanistan attacked us? Jesus. Remember when Yemen attacked us? Remember when Somalia attacked us? Remember when Libya attacked us? So good for Tulsi Gabbard. She's one of the good ones out there, uh, 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 certainly on this issue, exposing what's really happening. And we have to stop funding the people we claim that are terrorists.